It's been a long season in the NFL, and it's finally time to see who's going to take it all. But before we start the video, let's take a look back at the last four years and how well myself and Tenza did during the picks. First, we start off with Super Bowl 45, and then Super Bowl 46, and then Super Bowl 47, and then Super Bowl 48. Leaving us with miraculous records of 4-0 and 1-3. But this leaves us with Super Bowl 49. And again, before we get into the picks for Super Bowl 49, I just want to tell you guys to make sure you like the video. Comment below, because we do this every year. You're going to comment your winning team, the score, and then the Super Bowl MVP. Who do you think is going to win MVP for the team that you're going to pick to win? Just going to recap some comments I saw floating around the internet this past week, seeing as the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots are going to meet in Super Bowl 49. Rich Dotler says, You know what he proved to me with that coaching staff and that defense? You could be Mark Sanchez and win in Seattle. That is very true. Steven Doc Love says, well, if Ravens would have beat the Patriots, we would have been in the Super Bowl. Bummer. Oh, well. Sad to say it's true that I think the Ravens could have beat the Colts, and how can I pass this up? Tenza himself called it on January 3rd. The Patriots and Seahawks Super Bowl was going to be inevitable. I want to do a little segment this year to kind of shed some light on celebrities who are fans of the Super Bowl teams. So the Seattle Seahawks have Drew Carey and Joel McHale on their side, so big time Seahawks fans. But my favorite super fan of all time of the Seattle Seahawks has to be Chris Pratt. You don't know who Chris Pratt is? Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy? Set it yourself, bitch. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now moving on to the Patriots. So you got John Krasinski, you know, the dude from The Office. Tom Brady's wife, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name. And then my last one, I was kind of looking around, and I finally got to see Eli Roth. You film buffs will definitely recognize Eli Roth as one of the horror movie gore genre directors of his time. He directed movies such as Cabin Fever, Hostel, and Inglorious Bastards, which produced one of my favorite characters on the silver screen, the Bear Jew. You might know him better by his nickname, the Bear Jew. Now, have you heard of Aldo the Patch? You got heard about the Bear Jew. But without further ado, let's jump into Super Bowl 49's picks. So Super Bowl 49, the New England Patriots are the away team in this one. The Seattle Seahawks are the home team. After Seattle, you know, completely came back to win it, I just, I have no idea if they're going to win again. That would be great to see a two-time repeater in this since, what, 2003, 2004, since the Patriots did it. Ironic, I know. And it would be great to see them lose, too, because you don't want to see that repeated. As for Tenza, he's going to take the New England Patriots at a score of 28 to 27. And his MVP, Super Bowl MVP, is going to be Tom Brady. In my opinion, this is one of the best matchups that I've seen in the past uh, two or three years, maybe four years in the Super Bowl. I mean, last year's was the number one seed versus the number one seed, and we saw how good that came out because Peyton Manning likes to choke in big games, just like he did against the Colts. And, you know, I like Richard Sherman, and I like the Seattle Seahawks, but I also like Tom Brady's intensity. He wants to go back to the Super Bowl. He wants to win his fourth ring. That would just be incredible to me. So I think in this one, I'm going to take the New England Patriots at a score of 34 to 23. So we're definitely taking the over here. And I think the MVP is going to be Julian Edelman, one of the best slot receivers in the game going up against the number one defense. I think Tom Brady can find him for at least two touchdowns in this game, making him the Super Bowl MVP. Well, it's sad to see the season come to an end, but be sure to like the video and make sure you comment below your Super Bowl winner, your score, and your Super Bowl MVP. And also, be sure to check the description for my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. Follow me during the off-season. Make sure you subscribe because we're going to get back into the top five. We're going to do more videos during the off-season that aren't NFL-related, but once the next NFL season comes around, you'll get that. A lot of Atlanta Falcons news. Everything you need to know during the off-season. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Make sure you comment your picks, and we'll see you guys next season.